it's an extremely simple way of making baked corn and spinach. We take about a cup of spinach, about half a teaspoon, quarter teaspoon of salt with a pinch of black pepper. The quarter, I'll, I've taken a quarter cup of Alfredo sauce that I've just made. I'm going to post a link in my comments. This is my Alfredo sauce, quarter cup. Quarter cup of corn, I have just taken it out and washed it and strained it. Uh, from, I have taken it out from a can. This is quarter cup of mozzarella cheese. This is, these are all the ingredients that we will need. So, so first we are going to put our quarter teaspoon of salt and a pinch of black pepper into this mixture. I'm going to cover it and I'm going to cook it in the microwave for two minutes. I'm going to put the spinach in the microwave. For two minutes. You can see that the spinach has come down and it has cooked in its own water. So we did not add any water. We'll take a fork and just mix it around. See it has one cup has become so little. I will invert it on my chopping board and I'm just going to chop it a little. It's going to be hot so either you can wait for it to become cold or just chop it slowly. Some people also like to add shredded and chopped chicken as well in this. I, you can do that but I'm just making it as a vegetarian option. This is the dish I'm going to bake it in. So I have just put my chopped, coarsely chopped spinach and I'm going to put my corn, quarter cup of corn in it. I'll just mix it slowly. Then I'm going to put my quarter cup of Alfredo sauce and mix it. I've added all the three ingredients in it. I will also add my small shelled pasta, which has been made, cooked in the microwave. Just put the pasta on top. We'll mix it. On top, I'm going to now put the mozzarella cheese. Before that, I just want to let you know you can use any kind of sauce like a white sauce or even the ready-made Alfredo sauce that you get in the market. I wanted to make it a healthier version. I'm just going to put my quarter cup of mozzarella cheese. I'll spread it gently on top and we are ready to bake. You can either bake it right now in a hot oven of 180 degrees centigrade or 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 to 20 minutes. Or you can even do it as a meal prep. I generally make it ahead, I close the lid and I put it in the fridge. You can keep it for about six to 12 hours in the fridge. And whenever you have to bake it, just remove the lid and put it in the oven. Your dish is ready. My oven has been preheated to 350 degrees. I've just taken out my spinach and corn from the fridge. I'm putting it directly into it. This is, I'm going to cook it for about 20 minutes. My 20 minutes in the oven are about to get over. Just want to check. See, it has turned nice and brown. If you want it more brown, there you go. The 20 minutes are over. If you want it more brown, then you can do it for another minute or two. But this is according to me, it's fine. I'll just leave it in there, inside there, for an, another five, seven minutes. Just in the heat, it's going to cook even more. And my spinach corn is done. My baked spinach and corn is done. You can eat it any way you like. I like to have it with a few crackers. You can even have it with garlic bread. The baked spinach corn is ready. If you like my channel, please make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to it. Also hit the bell icon to get all the latest updates and the new recipes that I keep on posting. Thank you.